There's nothing that I know more about than downhill. If I would take this kind of risk other places in my life, I would be a complete idiot because there's only one thing in life where I'm one of the best in the world and that's downhill racing. World champion, it's not something you are. You're world champion that day and then you're world champion until the next race where you meet the best guys in the world. Growing up in Norway, you take maybe nature a little bit for granted, especially doing uh, outside sport. My family would take me skiing when I was a child, and that's how I learned to ski. So you have all these experiences in nature. As you get a little bit older, I think you start to appreciate them more and more again. What I like most about skiing is skiing. And when I'm preparing, I do a lot of skiing. When I'm racing, I do one run and the rest is, you know, a part of the competition. When you see some of the crashes and you see the injury statistics, there is a big risk. Um, but when you're in the sport itself, you don't start, of course, at that level. You take this step by step by step and then you have a fairly good control over the risk. There was a lot of injuries uh, in the later stage of my career, meaning the last four or five years. Um, so in one sense, I was lucky because if I had that many injuries when I was a teenager, I probably would never make it to a World Cup level. My first big injury was in 2007. We had a big crash in downhill in uh, Colorado, Beaver Creek. And the second thing is in Kitzbühel, uh, after that race, the doctors were a little bit cautious. Uh, saying that, you know, there, this knee might not work for skiing again. Uh, just so you know, there is a risk here that uh, you will never, it will never be good. And they were in many ways correct. Yeah, still isn't, but it was good enough that I could be competitive. I made it work for a couple of years, had some good races, but now it's time to retire. It's a big change for me because uh, I've spent, oh, I don't know, 20 years of my life trying to be the best in the world or at least one of the best in the world. And that's just taken up most of my focus. I like people and I like uh, challenges. So I also invested in some startups. It's a lifestyle. It's not just a job. It's your company, it's your startup. You need to live and breathe this every day, every hour. It's a fairly high risk that it's not going to work, but the reward, if it does work, is really high. Ski racing is about dynamics. The element is constantly changing. I'm used to performance as adapting to the element. To me, the performance of a car is that you don't really have the exact same conditions the whole time, and when you drive a good car, you feel that performance in all kinds of situations. What I th really think is cool about the Taycan is that, looking at it, it's no doubt that it's a Porsche, so it really has that Porsche DNA, but it still is super modern. So it's like that blend of a uh, look into the future, but keeping the same DNA that's been there since the 60s, really. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of a nerd because I'm, I'm that guy who can have a nice car. Uh, I don't need to drive it, it can be parked and I can go uh, look at it. And when I walk back and I sit down on the sofa or I do something else, I feel better. I, I can look at them and I can then really enjoy them. I remember walking to kindergarten with my mom. I could already point out cars and name different brands. I'm a car guy. In being a car guy, then to me, Porsche is the ultimate brand.